Testing, testing. Am I on? Am I am I working here? Is this is this, is this working out right? Eight hundred five eight eight two three hundred empire. What's up, homies? So uh, I'm not sure if uh, a couple of you guys remember Cool Math Games. It was a pretty prominent website back in like the early 2010s. You can basically go to all the games section and you can see all of these games. And so we're gonna see uh, how many games that I can play because. Flash is completely dead. So, uh, I guess there's a ton of games here, honestly. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go to the H&M section because uh, we all love H&M here. So why don't we start out with Icy Purple Head. That sounds weirdly sexual. Oh, that is fucking loud. Jesus, okay. Oh, so he turns into stone. That's where it comes from, Icy Purple Head. I thought it was referring to the So you could just kind of freeze time at any point, depending on where your mouse is. That is a cool ass idea. You know, I never realized just how creative some of these games actually were. So I can, oh, and the air current doesn't fuck it up either. Wow, that is creative. Wow, that is creative. And then you just slide your way to victory. Slide your way to victory. You're gonna slide your way to victory. Shoo. Throw. All right, so now we're just, oh, and we're fucked. And, oh, and we're double fucked. So we just have to wait for the ramp and then we get it in at the right moment. Level cleared. There's a giant finger. I'm very afraid as to why this game is called Icy Purple Head and there is a giant finger right in front of my face. But it's okay, he's just here to give us some pointers. And we're ready to fly so very high across the sky. And we just slide our way to victory, baby. You know, I just noticed that this box has a ton of flags on it. Got the American flag, the German flag, the, uh, Sabaro flag. <laughs> so is this like we can only grab onto it if we're purple? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. The claw machine. Bam. All right, that's enough of this game. Okay, back to another gentleman's adventure. Uh, yeah, a lot of these games are weirdly sexual. I swear to God, I do not have the money to spend on cool math games. Apparently, which was founded by Juice World, according to my friend from high school. Okay, and for some reason, my mouse just disappears as soon as I get in. So can we just play using the arrow keys? Oh, W A S D does it. Okay. Weird, weird flex, but okay. And it's the generic jumper. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, shout outs to the mushrooms though. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of mushrooms myself. Uh, don't, don't, don't think of that the wrong way. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be bouncing on these shroomies heads and I died. Thank you guys for what- Bam, get out of here. I, I got my own way out of here. Seems like the only method of attack is bouncing. So I'm just gonna have to get lucky on that front. Jump, grab that coin, even though it's probably not gonna do anything. Also, this is just Mario. Toad, what are you doing? Toad's over here asking for 33 bucks. Bro, buy your own bus tickets. All right, it's fine. I'm just gonna leave you alone. None of these pipes are letting me leave, so it seems like the only thing I can do is to go back out the way I came, I guess. I'm getting really uncomfortable playing as Abraham Lincoln Mario. All right, next game. Next game is coming up. Let's try the N and R section. Um, Get, got got pretty nervous saying that. Ninja Painter 2. We're gonna skip right to the second game because you know the sequels are always better than the original. I mean, just look at Troll 2. Ooh, stylish. Is this like TKO where the, where the amount of production value is just completely overshadowing every other factor about the game? Just, just to let you know, they say yeah every time that you drag your mouse over it. I'm gonna go with the Splatoon guy. So going to level one, this is just <laughs> this is just every other generic. Grab the paint. How do I grab the paint? You just grab everything and then okay, so it's Splatoon mixed with like jungle quest. Take the key, steal these people's life's possessions. We have to open the door, paint, and dip. What kind of architecture is this? My question is, if you're gonna build like a house or an area or something like this, why in the world would you build it so weird like this? I only got one key here and I'm supposed to be painting everything, but I can't. I can't advance. I don't know what I did. Where's the key? Springboards? Oh. Oh, so the specific way I have to go over it. Ah, uh, I see what you're playing at here, cool math games. Not letting me advance because you're a giant prick. Okay, so there was a Nickelodeon splat. What's with the Nickelodeon splat symbols telling me new achievement? All right, we're grabbing the stars, just like Super Mario Galaxy. Oh Mario, you are looking so fabulous today. What did you do? Something new? Oh, with your hair, perhaps. I'm getting bored of this game already. This is worse than a mobile game. Back to the all game section. Let's try the number section. Maybe there's something cooler here. Arrow. There's a giant fucking thing that says arrow. I have to do this now. Seriously though, these ads are getting so annoying.
Ooh, that was a good knuckle crack. Okay, so I was waiting for the ad screen, and then I saw a game that said Hexanome. Hexan... Hexanome... So we're gonna continue to the game, and uh, I really want to play that game later. Games modes. Easy, hard, or relaxing. You know, it seems like there's really no other option here, so I'm just gonna go with relaxing. If this is supposed to be relaxing, and it turns out being the most stressful fucking game I've ever played, I'm gonna... Oh, it's just 2048. Turning 90 degrees. This is actually pretty clever. I just wish I had the brain capacity to actually know how to play it. Like, what the fuck am I doing? I don't know how I cleared the level. BAM! Everybody turns. It's like a, like a line formation. Oh, it's a portal, like in Pac-Man, so I can only go down or the sideways. But I guess it's not letting me, because it has to be collected by blue. Well, we're gonna be speeding forward here. Play four levels and then I'm done. Or you could just keep doing this. Let them keep pac manning If I hold it down, it doesn't do anything. So I have to keep going. Next game, we're gonna be playing Hexanome. Oh, this was made with Unity. You know, a Unity game's gotta be good. Like, like, uh... Portal 2D. <laughs> All right, I actually have pretty high hopes for this one. It looks pretty creative. I'm clicking. It's not doing anything. I'm clicking. It's not doing anything. So why don't we just uh, collect all the squares here? Okay, we're gonna try our hardest, but it's really not letting me. Do I just... Oh, we can only go around the honeycomb. I see what you're getting at here. I see what's happening, yeah. So you can only be... So you're blocked by that, and then you have to go around the honeycomb. Kind of boring. These are all kind of boring, DBH. Now, maybe there's like a platformer of some kind. Archery World Tour. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Brave is my favorite Disney movie. I love the part where the girl does the thing and shoots the arrow. Wasn't it such a fantastic movie? I mean, am I right, lads? Everyone here loves Brave, the Disney and Pixar movie. Oh, this is like a Wii Shuffleware game. What is going on here? So we're gonna go with Break the Targets. And we're gonna uh, start it out with uh, the number 10, or if we... Those are the rankings. I'm stupid. So we have to drag it and... Oh, don't worry. I was the king of Wii Sports Resort Archery. So we get it almost perfect. It is it that precise? Drag the thing and you get it perfectly every single time. Okay, so maybe this is just me starting out a little too early in, but I think you can just move it in a certain direction and it will go almost exactly where it's supposed to be. So you get two shots and you're supposed to get gold on each try, but there's literally no way for you to mess it up except for, oh, because of the wind speed directions. You get a nine and then you get number six. Hey, hey. Tell you what, I'm just... Oh, oh, I think I fucked up the pointer controls. Shoo! <laughs> Wait, what? It, it, I completely aimed for the opposite direction, and it still said that I hit the target. Shoo! That was awful. Wow, Archery World Tour, everybody. Come on, that was perfect! That was perfect! Come on! 0.7, shoot it slightly that way. Oh, that was a 9. Not bad. Oh, we're getting to the dog toy level. Oh my god, it's Billy the Kid's revolver. <laughs> so we're supposed to shoot the balloons, I guess? All right, I'm bored by this already. Not gonna lie, Archery World Tour, you're a great game, but uh, 7.8 out of 10, too much archery. Next game. 60 Second Santa Run. You know, it's not Christmas, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot anyways. Oh my God, there's a narration in the beginning. You're very late, Santa. Get to the toy factory ASAP to produce the remaining Xmas gifts. Hurry up. Sounds like an angry ass boss. Santa looks so derpy. Why is he so chonky? The entire earth shakes whenever this man jumps. What is going on? This is 60 seconds? Oh, sh I see. I was supposed to be running this whole time. He has to get to the bus stop. What does the bus stop do? That's the sleigh. That's not a bus stop. Why would you call it the bus stop? You're really, um, big. That okay, that's, that's, that's uncalled for. Come on. Oh, shit. What? I didn't even mean to. How did I just do that? Okay, so there's multiple levels and I was supposed to just reach them all at the same time? You almost threw me into a fucking lightsaber. What was that noise? Oh. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? The, the, the Fairly Odd Parents episode where this guy just going. <laughs> I went in the complete the wrong direction. The wrong direction. Oh, and I'm dead. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance of me beating this level. It just cuts right like that. It just cut like that instantly. Like, like you fucked up, that's it. Too late. Really wants it to make you feel bad for your actions. I think that's about all the games that I'm gonna be playing today, but uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, just leave a like if you like Tim Hortons, I don't know. And uh, that's, that's all. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.